So when I was growing up, data science wasn't even uh, a job. It wasn't a career, it wasn't a thing, it wasn't a discipline. My name's Lucy Knight, I'm a data scientist, which means that I do a little bit of everything around how we use data, how we make useful things with it, more importantly, how we show people what it's saying, how we communicate with that data and actually put it to work, helping people get stuff done. Plymouth is a city on the south coast of England. It is a beautiful place. Lots and lots and lots of green and blue spaces, the parks, the waterfront. There's a lot of work going on at the moment around sort of rewilding and making those places the best that they can be, both in terms of how beautiful they are uh, and how accessible they are, but also the biodiversity. So we have spaces like some of the parks where we're looking at reintroducing certain plant species, we're looking at mapping what trees there are, but we also have Pool Farm, which is a little city farm. It's like nestling right on the edge of a very, very built up area where they have llamas and pigs and it's the most amazing little space. We also have a great range of engagement with the public, like art installations, which really get people coming together, thinking and talking. We have all these wonderful ideas, but every idea requires some evidence that it's actually worth pursuing and worth putting resources into. So a great example of this approach, a, a project that we're currently working on is called Data Cargo. We're working with a, a local organisation to try and get uh, devices, sensor devices, onto the bikes that people are using to get around the city. And these are cargo bikes, which means they have space for different types of attachments that will carry a much greater load. And with that comes the possibility of attaching sensors which can be powered by the bike itself, which is incredibly helpful. We found a lot of the data around uh, people are riding bikes is logistics that are used for managing staff. You know, are you going fast enough? Are you hitting enough delivery points during the day? It's for the benefit of the company running the organisation, not for the benefit of the rider. What we're looking for is information about the rider experience. So temperature, obviously humidity, altitude, how does that affect the rider experience? But also the road condition. How bumpy is it? How many potholes are there? How many times have they had to swerve around an obstacle or because, you know, the cars are getting too close to the bike lane? We feel like there's a huge amount of data that could be gathered to help us understand what it is like to be a cyclist. Is it pleasant? Is it safe? Are people enjoying it? And it's not just about providing the data to the cyclists themselves, although that's part of what we're aiming to do. We're also hoping that we can make some really useful products with that data to show to, for instance, the people who manage the roads and the cycle lanes and the cycling infrastructure to say, look, there is a need. These many people are using um, this infrastructure, this is their experience, these are the problem areas. So being able to pull that data together and say, well, okay, this park gets a great deal of use by, let's say, parents taking their children to school. It's a shortcut between a particular housing estate and a particular set of primary schools. It means that we can think about how do we help those children engage with that park in a way that's not in a rush first thing in the morning or you know, at the end of their school day. How can we engage people in thinking about what improvements might be made to their local area? And we can do that by pulling up the data and saying, this is what we know about what's currently there, um, about what people would like to see there, about the uses that they might want to put it to, and just bring that to the people who might be needing to do that work and might need to make a case for, this is what we want to spend the money on. Data is not everybody's thing. It's not sexy just by itself but hopefully by showing that data is the thing that we turn into insights and knowledge and understanding. I hope to start changing that.